We've already seen lots of amazing craftsmanship here at the Mother Earth News Fair. And right now I'm standing in front of a booth where there are cool things like this. Wooden spoons and spatulas and other utensils. And right here with me is Jake, who makes these, right? You're the craftsman. Yep. And so I'm gonna turn the camera around and let you tell your story about these products. So we make uh, hand-carved cooking utensils out of cherry wood and different locally harvested hard, uh, hardwoods. We're from Pennsylvania, so we have a good bit of hardwood around there. And uh, we're gonna show you how I start to finish a hand-carved spoon. So we start with the spoon blank. We take the gouge and the mallet to get the bowl out and our depth. And then to chop the shape out, we use the hatchet or axe. And then to shape it even more and take off a, a lot of the pieces are going to be with the draw knife to do the finished shaping with the spoke shave. And then with the spoon knife, we clean up the inside of the bowl and around the bowl and everything else we can clean up with just a little straight carving blade and then sand it and then that's it. So first thing we'll do is <clears throat> we'll draw out our spoon on our blank here. This is a piece of cherry. We have to make sure there's no centers in it because it'll split. This one's been sitting around it for a while, so it got moldy, but that's okay. Hopefully I don't break it on camera. That makes the best video. <laughs> the one that she's working on, I was trying to make a big spoon with a curvy handle and it turned into a big scoop because I knocked out the whole end while I was chiseling it. So we first we do the bowl, then we do a makeshift handle, just a rough drawing. This is my chop block that I constructed because I forgot mine. So we start with the gouge, which is basically a chisel with a bevel, and we'll do the bowl. This is cherry wood, I don't know if I told you or not. into the bowl. This is gonna fling. Probably hit your camera.
picture is like, oh no, it's what plants crave. You know, so, <laughs> shape it out.
just clean it up with a spoon knife here. Get some of those gouge marks out. about it other than sanding. Did you time me? <laughs> Did I time you? <laughs> so it took about 30 minutes to make this spoon. Of course, you know, there's some final sanding and things to make it perfectly smooth for a finished product, but Jake, that was amazing. Thanks, man. Watching him make this spoon made me want to make spoons. I'm, I know that sounds weird, but I'm, I'm serious. That was so cool. Thanks for sharing that time with me, Jake. Thank you. Look for his information in the description below because you sell online, right? Yep. Awesome. I hope I make you a million dollars. Thanks, man. <laughs> get that handshake again. Okay. All right. When I walked up to Jake's booth where all of the wooden utensils were, and I said, I would like for you to share your story. He said, sure, I'll show you how to make a spoon from start to finish. I thought, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. How long would that take? Well, he... I didn't ask him that question, but I thought in my mind, is this like a 10 minute thing? No, it took about 30 minutes, but the whole process had me captivated. I was so interested in what he was doing and how he was doing it that I told him when he was finished that one of the greatest compliments that I get as a video creator is for someone else to say, I like what you do, I like how you do it. You encourage me, inspire me, now I want to be a video creator. That's a huge compliment for me. So I told Jake, and I meant it, after watching him make those wooden spoons, I want to be a wooden spoon maker. It was just so cool, and he demonstrated it in such a fun way that uh, I would love to be able to experience that someday. Maybe that'll be on future Daddy Curbs Farm videos uh, as I start experimenting with other things to do here on the farm. In the meantime, thanks for being with me here on the Daddy Curbs Farm. I truly believe that everyone has a story and every story counts. Thank you so much for being a part of my story through this video and letting me be a part of yours. I'll talk to you soon. He said, sure, I'll show you how to make a spoon. He said, sure, I'll show you how to make a spoon from Sparks. He said, sure, I'll show you. One of the greatest compliments that I get as a video creator